Hi guys, my name is Asim. I'm a concept artist from Germany and uh, today I have the chance to show a quick demo about my process with Clip Studio Paint. So here we go. Mainly Clip Studio Paint was meant to be a software for manga and comic artists but you can also use it as a concept artist, um, especially if you have to do line drawings and illustrations. Um, here Clip Studio Paint I think has um, really its, its strength. So in this demo I'll be just focusing on line art. First of all I used a 3D block out um, that I created. Um, it helps me to have already the right perspective and um, now you see me sketching on a separate layer to establish the scene. For that tutorial I decided to do an interior design of a throne room. Um, and therefore I had already some ideas in my mind and a backstory. For instance um, this could be a concept of a level design in an RPG game. So you're a servant of the king and um, the king itself serves as an NPC character for instance. Um, so here you're getting your quests and also your resources and gold. When it comes to such a room of a character, um, I'm thinking about the personality of the king. Um, how is he, what are his characteristics and I'm trying to adapt that to my design of the environment. So I thought my king is not a humble guy, he's more kind of a materialistic person and has pride. He wants to show his status and what he's possessing and I want the player to see that in the architecture. The architecture should show his dignity, um, wealth and rank. So we want to make the room huge for the player with a lot of empty space the throne room is supposed to be long, which can also symbolize uh, the distance to the king, that he's a kind of unreachable or untouchable um, in his rank. And uh, the throne itself should be also on a higher level. Um, that's pretty important to show that and to evoke a kind of feeling for that environment, for the room. In my case, for that design, I found a lot of inspiration from a trip to Spain, and uh, which I did a couple of years ago. Uh, if you've never, if you have never been to Andalusia in Spain, you should really go there. It's so amazing, and you can learn a lot about the history of Islam in Spain and about the Renaissance in Europe in general. And places like Granada, Cordoba, or Sevilla, there several amazing examples of great architecture and culture and I got some of my inspirations for the feeling of, of the room from there that there are several palaces and, and castles old castles and it's just great and so for that room I, I wanted to have the room to be an adaption of the literal described paradise in the Quran so I decided to make the pillars look like palm trees and placed a small pond around the throne that could be filled with milk. Um, maybe you also have lamps, lamps that are spreading the smell of myrrh in the room. Another thing is that, yeah, it's hard to show just with line art, but maybe the ceiling of the room could have a golden surface and it reflects the light that is coming through the windows and it has a feeling of a starlit sky um, yeah the, the whole scene should impress the visitor yeah here you see me just fig figuring out what else I could do um, I've tried out to put some cloths um, between the pillars but I didn't like it um, so I just continued uh, with my drawing process and yeah, I was just trying to get the overall vision done and Clip Studio Paint is quite easy to handle. Um, the basic tools are mostly on the same shortcuts like in uh, Photoshop and here you see me um, adjusting the pen pressure and <laughs> I think that's a really cool feature because um, depending on, on the artist everybody has its own pressure on the pen and I think it's really good to adjust that um, 
you, you can find that in the preferences. Yeah, and uh, in my case, I'm working on a Intuos 3. And yes, I'm a classic man. <laughs> and especially this feature uh, helps me to have more control of my brush uh, strokes and it feels more natural to me. Um, and I'm pretty sure that the result on a Cintiq is much better. But if you're not, a, not that good in line art like I am, then Clip Studio Paint is really a good program to get along with that. And when it comes to brush settings, you can adjust everything like in Photoshop. The brush density, size, uh, the textures, etc. Um, the same like in Photoshop. And the cool thing about the pencil brush is that you can choose between um, different paper or surface textures that are already existing in uh, Clip Studio Paint. Um, you can choose between yeah, textures like canvas, cotton, marble, sand, or wood, and the same with the with the other brushes like chalk, pastel, um, oil brushes, watercolor, and so on. And yeah, all these brushes are feeling pretty pretty natural to me. Uh, I like that. And but what I like the the most are the pens for doing clean line art and sketching, such as the G pen or the mapping pen. You can see me using these later in the process when I when I start to clean up the drawing and yeah furthermore you have nice marker pens those are like the Copic markers or the ink pens are like these manga um, brush pens and yeah unfortunately I couldn't show everything in my in my tutorial but I'm gonna show you the main features um, that I like and which yeah I think are the most um, po powerful features in the software. Another idea that I had in my mind was that the king has paranoia, uh, that he's afraid to get killed by his opponents and could lose his hegemony. So he has always his private guard next to him and there's also an escape door in case of need. I also added crests on the walls and frescoes which are typical in the architecture in Andalusia and Morocco. For the ceiling of the dome I tried out some yeah, star ornaments and yeah, just trying out what works and what not. And you should also place some decoration assets which are not fulfilling any specific purpose such as vessels, um, um, jars or jars even when the throne room is supposed to be more empty. It just helps to make the room more believable and visually um, yeah, makes it visually more interesting than having nothing in there. In terms of assets which are fulfilling any purpose, we can place chests for the player. One can be a small one next to the king where you can get your loot after finishing a quest. And the other one could be used as a storage. For example, uh, the scroll on the desk could be picked up by the player for new quests. Uh, it's totally up to you. Maybe also some bags filled with provisions for a journey which are provided by the king um, the other thing yeah the characters um, the characters are just placeholders and serving for the f sense of scale don't focus too much on these um, there is no need for that it's all about the overall environment um, you're trying to visualize the idea of the level designer um, for the environment artist and uh, normally you would also add some ref material next to the main concept and maybe giving some hints through detailed drawings. After finishing the basic sketch uh, you can see me turning down the opacity of the 3D block out and the basic sketch layer uh, Yeah, to start with a clean line drawing. Therefore I used the G pen and adjusted the pen pressure again because I felt it was too sensitive when I was uh, making a stroke and 
yeah, as I'm doing the clean line drawing, I can tell you something more about other tools that I haven't used that much. It's, for example, the decoration sub tool where you have different effect brushes, which are great for comic artists, uh, such as sparkle, cross hatchings, um, grass, foliage, flames, rocks, stones, I don't know, um, nearly everything and everything um, you could need maybe for a comic drawing and also you can create your own ones and save these and of course there are a lot of other tools that are quite similar to Photoshop like yeah, I don't know the transform tool for example for adjusting uh, the perspective the blending tool auto select uh, marquee yeah there's not that much difference one thing that I haven't tried out yet is the group work feature which allows you to work together with other people in one file on different layers at the same time which can be quite powerful if you're doing a collaborative project like a comic or something um, yeah so one could do the rough sketch another paints the clean lines and maybe a third person could uh, colorize it yeah what else here you see me still trying to get the clean lines done I'm switching between different brush sizes later on I will push that more um, when you want to emphasize some of the assets I recommend to give those assets which are having more importance to others or are which are in the focal point you should give them a thicker line so this will make them pop out more uh, especially when you're not working with uh, yeah, in grayscale or uh, working with color uh, you have to you have to make the lines thicker in the area of interest yeah here I'm adding the, the lamps maybe they can spread like um, yeah, the smell of mirror or um, Frankenstein or something that is typical for the oriental area. Maybe you have some nice smoke go going on in, in this room. This would make it more um, mysterious. And yeah, or oh, it's it could be also uh, in another light source um, in the back which can grab your attention next to the to the throne of the king and I'm also adding some more details like a bit more of the stone texture um, I'm just trying to indicate that in my line drawing and as you can see some some lines are thicker some lines are still also pretty thin or loose when I wasn't sure about something but yeah I'm still trying to find the, the right I'm trying to find um, or to make the right decisions at the moment yeah, here as I said already um, I'm just trying to, to add some details on the characters, don't waste too much time on that. It's just about the overall feeling and um, just to indicate maybe the, the visual theme or maybe the, the cultural background or the setting where, where all this um, takes place like the helmets they look more like Mongolian or oriental in, in their designs and yeah that's that's fairly enough yeah, something I was thinking about that um, I want to lead the eye of the viewer or the visitor when he's entering the room um, that everything leads to to the throne and 
you can do that with light sources like these fireplaces which I placed along this way to the throne uh, maybe yeah like the carpet the carpet itself that it it's leading the eye of the viewer to the throne and also yeah the lighting behind the throne and that if if the king is sitting there that there's a nice backlight he's he has a nice rim light on his on his uh, body so this was would also emphasize the character um, you have you have uh, also high contrast there in the focal point because of the light and maybe there's also light coming from above shining on the throne on the king and it shines um, through the dome and yeah you can play play around a lot with um, with light and with contrast and all these things of course more when you're working with color and or in grayscale at least but uh, yeah with line art is it's just about the lines mostly and you're trying to lead the eye of the viewer through all the perspective lines and um, yeah the shapes itself and yeah I'm trying my best to do that everything was pretty spontaneously um, so I haven't tried out that much there was not that much time to do that but I think at least to show my process uh, how I work and my design thinking um, I think that's enough that's okay it works I hope I hope so <laughs> yeah and you see me always uh, also adjusting sometimes the opacity of the 3d block out layer because yeah some some lines were still too loose and I had to readjust some lines and all these things which were not there when I was doing the the 3D block out I have to think about it and you can really go crazy with details like some people they are adding like everything like for example if you have ropes and when you have these knots uh, you can see them how they are tied together um, when you have these carpets uh, carpets which I did you can show nearly everything every small detail of textures and so on uh, in this tutorial I did a bit and I've tried to, my best to to show some of my process how I do that so of course it depends on the time on the time that you have how much time can you can you spend on such a concept and if you have more time as well of course you can also make a painting out of it add more add more details um, colorizing it uh, which I haven't done for this tutorial uh, but you can yeah of course later on you can always do that but if you have just to deliver a line art um, that's fairly enough that's you can show everything that is interesting for a 3d artist or the level designer in that kind of drawing that's enough yeah and I also continue to clean up the lines um, it was on a sketch layer and there I erased some of the the previous lines and that's a great tool uh, a great feature in Clip Studio Paint you can import these 3d models 
um, for character design you can place them in perspective you can adjust them you can adjust the body size and the posture and you can even adjust the the hands and um, yeah nearly you can do everything with that and it's it's so great uh, this feature is just such a big help um, if you want to do character art uh, storyboards that's you can work so fast with that yeah normally in this case I wouldn't use it for the environment but yeah just to show it and that you guys can see how it works I did that and now you see me drawing over the 3d model adding some details erasing out um, the sketch underneath the clean line art and I also then added a thicker line to emphasize more the character on the throne and yeah here's another cool feature of Clip Studio Paint uh, here I was working doing the lines on a vector layer and on a vector layer the cool thing about these is that you can adjust the lines later on with a pinch tool so you can simplify the vector lines, um, redraw them or pinch them uh, as you can see and yeah it's I think it's also pretty powerful in Clip Studio Paint and I used it here um, for the Royal Coat of Arms which I placed on the banners in the throne room and yeah the cool thing as well for vector lays is that you can scale them up endlessly without having any lack of quality and that's of course much better compared to the normal pixel layer especially if you are a comic artist and you have to use your drawings um, for print and then it's of course very useful Yeah, and um, still adding, s emphasizing some of the line out more with thicker lines and adding a bit more details in some areas. In others, I, I filled the areas with black ink to have a higher contrast, especially behind the king. Um, so because he's in the focal point or he's supposed to be in the focal point and yeah I was trying out different things um, some things worked out some were not and here I also added more details more cracks uh, some of the other brushes that I used came with a nice texture um, to have this kind of yeah kind of stone texture on the ground I used that um, and yeah I had a lot of fun with Clip Studio Paint especially when it comes to line drawing I really enjoy it and yeah normally for me line drawing digitally is um, yeah not an easy one but with Clip Studio Paint it's yeah, easy, easier to handle and you can really fall, fall in love with that and I think especially as a character or storyboard artist you would have a lot of fun with that I just used the 3d doll tool once before and that was just for costume designs and it really helped me but imagine if you have to paint a lot of different scenes with many characters in it or characters in different perspectives and there are already a lot of different post templates you can choose from and yeah this could really be a time saver and what also can be quite useful is the material library with different framing templates for comic artists um, or different comic signs, effect lines, it 
etc there's there a lot there's a lot of stuff you can choose from in, in the library and yeah what else personally I really love to do environments um, this is what I like the most when I have the chance to um, evoke a certain feeling with an environment and to play around with different settings um, for instance this this throne room it could be later on in the game could be maybe destroyed and could serve as a yeah maybe hide out for the hero for the player or he's, he's building up his his own castle or his own house and how would look like how would this look like like um, maybe in the beginning the ceiling is destroyed he's building up uh, walls with um, different material like wood maybe you have a lot of plants all over the place growing all over the place and um, he's building a kind of yeah protection with with different material material yeah it would be really cool to have all these things barricades you would have also a lot of um, debris in this environment and yeah that's fun and maybe um, for example for this concept that I did I would have done another example um, maybe you can push the idea further um, the idea of having a kind of yeah the architecture that it's inspired by by paradise maybe the the milk could really flow along flow along the the, the carpet um, to the to the door to the outside maybe there's a fountain or yeah a fountain next next to the throne you can do a lot of different things um, it doesn't have to be the final concept but yeah for the tutorial I have just I just have done that and maybe also what, what I was thinking um, maybe you have different um, thrones that's a typical throne but maybe he's um, he's on a higher place that is hanging in the air and it serves as a throne and every time because he's so afraid and he has paranoia <laughs> so he's hanging on on this um, floating throne and every time when he has when he he has to go or he has to leave the place um, maybe he's just going upwards and leaving the roof the place on the roof maybe I don't know and yeah here here's another thing going on um, I added uh, the one of the monochromatic patterns um, yeah these are typical for comic artists so you have these dot patterns um, in different kind of sizes and different colors and I just used it as a third value and that gave me the opportunity to emphasize even more uh, certain assets uh, and the king and he also added more black areas to have even yeah more contrast between the values and yeah it's almost done just adding some more accents also added um, a bit more gradient in some parts of the environment and cropped it and yeah that's it so I hope this demo of my process with Clip Studio Paint was a bit helpful for you guys just as an, as an example how you can use it you can use it 
in many ways. Maybe you can implement it in your design process. If you haven't tried it out, I highly recommend to download the trial version and to do something cool. Thank you guys for watching. Maybe see us next time. This is awesome. Bye bye.